Hi guys, happy Wednesday. It is time to talk the Real Housewives of New Jersey. I have some tea for you guys, of course, like I always do. I had made a previous video um, that didn't upload, so I have some extra bonuses I wanna give you guys today. But I wanna also talk about New Jersey, um, I want to talk about Dolores, the real reason that she wasn't invited to the engagement party. Um, I want to talk about Teresa and Joe and Melissa and basically, you know, kind of go over this whole reunion. I also want to talk about the three new women that are being brought onto the Housewives of New Jersey and also Jackie getting demoted as um, to a friend. So before we get started, make sure you hit the like button and follow and subscribe and put your alerts on because I post randomly whenever I get the content or the gossip so um, it's not scheduled times and this way you would be alerted whenever I've posted and you know there's something going on in the lives of our real housewives so let's go ahead and get started we saw the reunion last night please comment and let me know what you guys thought if you watched it maybe you know just give me a, a grade how would you grade last night's reunion the first part um I felt like Joe came out too early. I didn't really feel like, I, I didn't like that he came out so early. Um, I understand they probably didn't want to bring him out and then bring the men out back to back. Um, but I didn't like seeing him so early. Now, a little bit of backstory, guys. Um, you know, people talk, you, Teresa and Melissa were going way back in this whole discussion of everything that's been going on. But I wanted to point something out to people because through the comments on my Instagram, I realized that you guys don't understand or know maybe that Joe Gorga had actually been engaged like three times before Melissa. One time, the time before her, it was so serious, they had set a wedding date, they were planning a wedding date, and at the bridal shower, there was an altercation, and I can't remember exactly if it was Joe's mom or aunt or someone, but his bride-to-be was very rude to them, and he inevitably broke off the wedding. Fast forward like a couple of months, maybe not even that, a couple of weeks, and he meets Melissa in Cancun and they come back to New Jersey and they begin to date. And of course, they have a fast relationship. So I think in the beginning that Teresa didn't think that he was going to even stay with Melissa. She had no reason to try to build a relationship with Melissa because she didn't think that Joe was going to stay with her. Um, he had, like I said, he had asked three other women before Melissa to marry him. He had went as far as to plan an entire wedding and canceled it because the woman didn't treat someone in his family in a respectable manner that he felt was respectable. So I think that Melissa, or I think that Teresa won thought that Melissa was not going to stick around, that her and Joe would never get married and, and have made it this long and have three kids. And secondly, I think that she thought her brother loved her and her parents so much that if they didn't like someone or they didn't approve, that he would take their side because that's what he had done in the past when it came to other women that he had dated. But Melissa, of course, because he does love her and he does put her up on a pedestal and he 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 was different this time. This time he didn't agree with his mom and his sister. This time he went ahead and married her. This time, you know, they had three kids and he loves her and they're in a happy relationship. So I think it was a much different dynamic between Melissa and Joe um, as like a couple than their family had had ever seen before. Teresa had never seen Joe in a relationship like this with Melissa. And by the time she realized what, you know, that they were going to last and be married this whole time, um, it was too late because their, their relationship had already really been tarnished, you know, from the beginning. So, and you can see that because these women obviously are still fighting about things from the past. Um, I wanted to also tell you guys that Dolores was not invited to um, the engagement party, not because she was single, okay? And I, I do agree. I think that Teresa does like to double date. I think that's like a big thing for her and her significant other to have other couples that they hang out with. They're not the kind of couple that really hang out with other people without each other, especially for right now. Um, and honestly, Teresa didn't go out a lot with couples if she didn't have a couple. I noticed that about her and I think that's just her old school ways. But I told you guys this in my last video, not my last video, but an old video. So just so you guys know, I said this, um, it was, it's one of the videos titled about Caroline and the Manzos and it's a photo of Dolores and, um, Caroline together in LA. That's the, um, 
thumbnail of the video that I'm referencing, but I told you guys that Dina is coming home and she's going to be Teresa's bridesmaid. And at some point when Dina accepted the invitation to be the bridesmaid, she put a stipulation to Teresa, or maybe Teresa volunteered, who knows, that she didn't want anyone that associated with the Mantles or associated with Caroline to be like around them and to know what was going on, okay? I told you guys in that video, David and Dina had moved to California because of their safety because David had already been attacked one other time behind a strip mall and they weren't able at the time to link it back to Tommy. So they were fearing for their safety. They weren't comfortable in New Jersey and so they moved to California. When they came home to film with Teresa Judice and Joe Judice for one of their daughters, um, Catholic confirmations or baptism, something like that. They went home and they were met with two intruders inside their townhouse. And the reason for that being was because everyone in town knew they were going to be home. They were home filming and the Judaists were having this big party. And so Tommy and his goons were able, allegedly, I mean, he was convicted of it, but allegedly, you know, orchestrate this home invasion. And so the intruders were already inside their townhouse waiting for them to get home. Had they not known that Dina um, and David were home, they never would have been waiting in the house because they didn't even live there. They lived in California. So that's why Dolores was not invited to the engagement party. Dina doesn't want people that are close to Caroline, close to the Manzos, that can be reporting to them where she's at, what she's doing, what's scheduled. She doesn't want that. I think a lot probably for her safety. She's had post-traumatic stress syndrome from the home invasion. You know, she's been in therapy. She's open about that. She shows her doctor on her Instagram. So I think that it was a traumatic experience. Anytime that you would come home and you have two intruders in your house and you, you know, were tied up and robbed, I'm sure it is a really scary experience. So one, I think she doesn't want anyone around because she doesn't want people reporting to Manzo's for her own safety, she doesn't want them reporting where she's at and what she's going to be doing. And secondly, I think that out of respect, and this is where this is where Teresa shows some loyalty here to Dina, which seems a little strange because Dolores has been riding hard for Teresa for years, but I think we all know that she does that to help keep her spot, her full-time spot. We don't know how really sincere um, always Dolores is being when it comes to Teresa. That's how I feel at least. That's just my opinion. Um, I know you guys get upset about my opinion, but that's my opinion. <laughs> um, but that's the word. That's the gossip is Dina doesn't want anyone around that's going to be reporting directly to Caroline Manzo or any of the Manzos. And Dolores is, you know, that they're friends. They're good friends. And we saw the photo of them in LA together. And I told you guys, that was for a competition. It was something that was going to be filmed. Um, <clears throat> it was a job, if you will. And Teresa had originally been asked first because if you remember, Caroline and Teresa did that commercial for the Super Bowl where they pull the red tablecloth off the table. Um, so Teresa will work with Caroline if the price is right. But she, out of respect for Dina, this wedding come up, coming up and everything that's going on, she actually, Teresa declined the job with Caroline. And so the network's next best was Dolores. Um, but she was okay with that because her and Caroline are friends. She also posted um, a story on her Instagram a while back and it had Kathy Walkeley in it and Caroline. So Dolores was hanging out with Teresa's cousin that she doesn't speak to anymore and her friend that she doesn't speak to anymore. So that's probably got her uninvited to the engagement party. Um, also guys, I wanted to tell you, um, there was some gossip going on about, so they're bringing three newbies onto the Real Housewives of New Jersey. We're going to have see Marge have a friend, we're going to see Melissa have a friend, and we're going to see Teresa have a friend. Now, we know that most of the time these women are not actually friends in real life. We saw this with Fallon in the Real Housewives of Atlanta and how Portia said that she really had never met Fallon before. Um, so the ladies, we have one friend that's coming in strong on Teresa's side. And her name, um, I think, is Laura. And I told you guys I saw a little bit of footage um, of her when she was young and, had, you know, just graduated from high school and had moved out to California to try to make it big. But the word on the curb is, and Sherelle's World, World reported this yesterday. I think they were first to say this. But they're saying that because Teresa is not speaking to anyone but Jennifer, she has no one to film with, okay? 
She can't film with Jackie or Marge. She's mad at Dolores. Um, her and Melissa aren't getting along. She has no one to film with. So the new girl is going to come in and she's going to be Team Teresa and they are filming while they're getting to know each other. So that's, we're going to see some of that. Now the network itself, somebody said in an article that with all three of these women may not actually become friends of the show um, or be full time. If they come and they bring it, then they, they'll get more screen time. They might be full time. One might make it full time and two may not. Um, they're not saying they're bringing three new full-time housewives on permanent they want to see how these women are going to do and I think that Jackie is not out of the running either I think that if she would bring it a little bit more than she has uh I don't know what Jackie needs to do but I think that if she makes the net network happy then they'll bring her back full-time um also I wanted to touch on the fact that Marge told uh Jennifer that she's always high did you guys catch that yeah Marge was like, oh, you're always high. You don't even know what you're talking about. And I thought it was funny because I think, I can't believe, I mean, I think it's funny that Jennifer smokes weed. I think that uh, Teresa said some people function better and she's really right because some people do function better. And in New Jersey, we should say, you know, marijuana is illegal there, recreational and medical. Um, but allegedly, everything in my videos is alleged. Um, there was a little clip of her over the summer it was before this season aired and she someone caught it and she had a like marijuana vape pen in her hand and it was like at a party like a nice party so she obviously vapes she likes to smoke weed I mean it probably makes her fun and happy she's a housewife I'm not gonna condone anyone for that I think it's funny I think I mean I think it's crazy these women go and you know, drink and drink and drink. But my goodness, if, if Jennifer smokes weed, then she just doesn't even know what she's talking about anymore. She becomes completely uncredible. Um, also, they brought up Joe Judice and about him talking about um, like Joe Gorga in the press and, and the different things that he says um, in the press because Joe Gorga was saying like, how come that's okay that he can talk, you know, shit about me in the press, but I can't talk about him. Da, 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 da. We know the whole story. But did you hear Teresa? She said her and Gia are embarrassed. Her and the girls are embarrassed when Joe, um, you know, make statements to the press but here's the thing the press is not following him around in italy in the bahamas he's getting paid for these stories when he does an article or gives a story to ok or us or whoever it is he gets paid for it so you know when the reunion's over and it airs um you know so they're gonna they're gonna want to know what he has to think and he'll get paid for it so anything the more you know that grabs a headline um, the worse he you know, talks the meaner of what, of what he says about them, it makes the headlines. It makes them more money. So of course he's going to talk shit about them and he's not going to talk respectful because he's doing it for the money because he needs it. Um, even though her and him and Teresa are, are in, you know, they're partners in that, um, sex line. I don't know what's going to happen with that if her and Louie are together, if Louie's going to like the fact that her and her ex are selling sex toys to people. We'll have to see how that pans out. Now, also, um, I wanted to say that um, Marge was on Behind the Velvet Rope and she did an interview about Teresa. And if she said that Teresa was going to turn 50 soon one more time, I was just going to die. I mean, she basically said allegedly the women had came together after everything had happened with Danielle pulling Marge's hair. And they had all just made a pact that they were not, it didn't need to get physical with them. It didn't need to get that far. And no one, they weren't going to be getting physical with each other ever again. Nothing like that. So she said she was disappointed because Teresa you know, kind of reneged on their deal. And then she also said that, um, you know, we're, she's like, I mean, Teresa's going to be 50 years old soon. She's going to be 50 years old soon. We're too old to be acting like this. We're too old to be acting like this. I mean, she's about to be 50. So she really, really wanted to make sure we all knew that Teresa is turning 50 this month. Um, so she was just making little digs here and there. And I do like Marge. I didn't like Marge this season, um, but I do like her. I think she's a great 
asset to the show um and i think she is very strong and very opinionated and i think she has a very very different background from the other women i mean jen and Teresa were raised with two parents at home a mom and a dad who you know were immigrants and had strong morals and values from their homeland and they were different but yet the same and they had that in common with each other you know what i mean if like Jen's parents are immigrants and Dolores' parents are immigrants and Teresa's plans are, you, they all have that in common. And then Marge was raised very, very differently, especially for being in the 70s, 60s and 70s. Um, she was raised a lot like Kyle, Kathy, and Kim Richards. Their mothers were alcoholics. They spent a lot of time in the bar. They were more worried about who they were sleeping with and taking care of their kids or coming home and reading a bedtime story. Um, the children had to start taking care of themselves at like 12 years old and driving and and so on and so forth so Marge had a very 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 different upbringing and because of that she probably her path has been very different from the other ladies so sometimes they're able to come together and sometimes they're not and when they're not it's bad and you know what that's okay that's what makes this show um Lastly, I want to tell you guys about this gossip um, for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I told you guys in a video, not yesterday, the day before, about how Marlo had a Real Housewives of Atlanta premiere party, right? And I was scrolling, 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 and I see this photo, and it's like four women in it. And I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm like, man, that, that white suit looks really familiar. And I realized that it's Fallon. Fallon from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She was a part-time housewife last season and she also just um, is getting divorced from Simon and Simon is currently engaged to Portia Williams from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She did not come back this year um, but she is engaged to Simon Fallon's ex-husband. So Fallon was at the premiere party. She was at Marlo's premiere party for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So you know number one that chapped Portia's ass. She did not like that because even though she's going to act like she wants the Real Housewives of Atlanta to do good, she doesn't. Everyone wants to be missed, right? Everyone wants to be missed. She wants to be more than missed. Um, but yeah, she definitely did not want to see Fallon at a premiere party with Marlo who was just made a full-time housewife. So, to turn the knife a little bit harder, someone pointed out to me, I didn't even see it, the background um, of their photo was that yak. And that is the liqueur, the liquor, um, the alcohol that Dennis, Portia's baby daddy, came out with. And allegedly, he sponsored the whole thing. He paid for the whole thing and sponsored it in light and in you know to show off his new alcohol line um but yeah mm -hmm. so Portia's baby daddy paid for the whole party to promote his liqueur whatever you want to say it um so he was there Marlo who you know they're not friends so now she, Marlo and uh Dennis are talking, which if you remember the season that all the rumors came out about Dennis, Marlo was actually in support of Dennis to Portia and she went out with them and they had a really good time. So I think that, you know, I think Marlo, I don't think she likes Dennis, but I think that she, there's something there because she definitely like took a liking to him. And then of course the best part being that Fallon was there. So Fallon and Dennis, you know Portia don't want Fallon and Dennis together. I don't care what anyone says. She does not want those two together. They don't she don't want them talking. She because what happens is is they start to put stuff together, right? If Portia and Dennis are over here dating and Simon and um Fallon are over here dating and then, you know, they end up breaking up, sometimes people lie and you don't realize it until like you talk to somebody else and they're like, oh no, they did this. So I'm sure that with the way the situation happened with Simon and Portia, they probably weren't hundred percent honest with neither Dennis nor Fallon. So they probably found out a lot about each other that night and about their, you know, significant exes, if you will. Um, but that's it for right now, guys. I hope you have a great day. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and we will talk soon.